and welcome to this special theologian edition of Celebrity Jeopardy. Tonight's contestants are Rob Bell, <laughs> former pastor of highly successful Mars Hill Church yes. and provocative author of Velvet Elvis, <laughs> Sex God, and Love Wins. Yes. He has been on several speaking tours, including Everything is Spiritual yes. and The Gods Are Not Angels. <laughs> you know, um, Alex, I, I don't know what you mean when you called me provoc provocative. <laughs> what is it that I'm uh, provocative? Provocative? Is it that I provoke the average person of faith to consider how to live their lives more fully? <laughs> doesn't sound right. What if, and go with me on this one, what if we follow Christ more fully because Christ follows us and by following him we're being more fully followed. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Okay. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, yes, yeah, very provocative. I'm feeling provoked to not invite you back next year. Our next contestant, also a pastor and author, is Eugene Peterson. An alumnus of SPU, known for books such as A Long Obedience in the Same Direction and his highly acclaimed translation of the Bible, The Message. Which paraphrases the Bible into understandable and striking words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. In my most recent book, Pastor, a memoir, I talk about what it really takes to be a pastor. You're not the only one who can translate, Eugene. I've got a message for you. And it's that just as love wins, which is my book that is in stores now, I also win, and I'm going to win this round of celebrity Hero in Jeopardy. Okay! I can see this is going to be a long night. Our final guest this evening is critically acclaimed author Flannery O'Connor. <laughs> Known for her unique southern grotesque style of writing. She part paints jarring pictures to get her point across. Mrs. O'Connor, I am a huge fan. Yes. Why, well, yes, you are a huge man. Okay. <laughs> a huge fan. Yes, I see you as a huge fan of flaming hot lava fire that will burn into perpetuity. Uh, all right. And our categories for this round are Theophanies, Books of the Bible, Fruit Referenced in Scripture, and Jesus is the Answer. Mr. Bell, since you won the coin toss backstage, you make sure you <laughs> Oh, my friend, Alex. I'm just, I think that me winning this coin, coin toss is a sign from the gods that I will win this game. Watch it, Eugene. I'll take uh, the funnies for 100. <laughs> That's the Theophanies. <laughs> it means revelations of God. Aren't you supposed to be a theologian? Don't you know that already? <laughs> and the answer is, this made Moses turn aside. Uh, what is my Numa videos? Yes. <laughs> 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 
those are very popular with the kids in the youth groups. <laughs> Moses turn aside. Surely it was Miley Cyrus's party in the USA. <laughs> no, no, it's incorrect. <laughs> what is the bushy mustache on your face? <laughs> The answer 
that's the direction we're looking, we're looking forward. What is a thing? Oh. <laughs> uh, and now I'm looking forward to Mr. Bell. Just go for it. Go. Me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'll take boobs in the Bible. <laughs> That's books of the Bible. You need glasses. I have glasses on. <laughs> well, that's, that's interesting. Let me tell you a story. The story. An interesting story. I tell stories. Actually, boobs in the Bible was the original title for my book, Sex God. <laughs> Maybe it was too provocative. <laughs> Publishers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's great. Oh, that's, that's great. Okay, you can stop it now. The answer: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Who are the four amigos? <laughs> no, remember the answer is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, Correct. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yes, that is correct. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> Have you even seen Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> what are four dead men rocking in their graves? <laughs> the maggots crawling out of their eye sockets and ear holes. <laughs> Messiah people of Africa. No! 